personal trainer at Seattle Athletic Club Northgate. Today I'm going to be breaking down the push-up, showing you some tips that can help you get a stronger push-up no matter where you're at in your push-up journey. So let's get started. The first thing to remember is that a push-up is a moving plank. So you always want to start in a plank position. That means your spine is long, your legs and butt are squeezing, and your belly is drawing in. One of the things I like to use to really help me keep this full body tension in my plank while I'm doing a push-up is have a block and I put it between my thighs. I come into my plank and I squeeze that block the entire time. And this really cues my body to keep my legs and my core engaged. From there, I have something that I can really draw into to keep that tension. So that's something that I would recommend really trying as you're learning your push-up. The second thing you want to remember when you're doing a push-up is that from that plank position, you want your shoulder blades to be moving together on your ribcage and then moving apart. You want to have this drawing back and then this pushing forward. If you don't have any movement in your shoulder blades while you're doing a push-up, it's not going to feel as great in your shoulders. It's just going to be a lot harder. You want to have that shoulder blade movement from that really great plank position. So let's put that all together. I'm going to use my block just to demo it because I love using my block for push-ups. So we start here in our plank position. My arms are going to be a little bit wider than shoulder width. This is a good starting position for a push-up. There are variations you can go off of from this, but this is where we're going to begin. A little bit wider than my shoulders. Step back into my plank. Squeeze your block. Feel your butt and legs and core all engaging. I'm going to draw my elbows in a little bit because I don't want my elbows flaring out to the side as I come down. I'm going to inhale, lower my chest, towards the ground. Exhale, push it up. Be aware if you want to lead with your head and not go full range, if you want to keep your hips high, or you let your back really sag. All of those are signs that you might want to elevate your push-up and really get that strong plank position and then work it down. So now I'm going to demonstrate an elevated push-up. I'm demonstrating here from a chair, but you might be starting at a wall, at a countertop, anything that's just up off the ground that's giving you a little more lift that you can work from. You want to find a place where you can have this really great positioning the whole time, that you can get a full range of motion, and that you can do at least five to ten reps there. So if you're on a chair, all the same rules will apply. You still want to keep that great plank position. You want to keep your elbows drawing in. You're going to inhale down. Exhale up. Keep that nice long spine. Keep that squeeze on your glutes the whole time. And then when you're done, give yourself a stretch. Push-ups are a great exercise for strengthening your entire body. They're not easy, but if you make some modifications, you'll find a version that will work for you. Thanks for joining me.